What food from your childhood do you wish would come back? As evidenced by the return of nostalgia cereals like French Toast Crunch and Strawberry Honeycombs, it's clear that food companies are ready to bend over backwards to reintroduce foods from our childhoods that have long been off shelves just to squeeze a couple of nostalgia dollars out of people like us will pay for it. Oh, we will pay. So, guys, now that it seems like uh, we can essentially demand the re-release of any discontinued food, what'll it be? What would you like to see come back? Dan, why don't you start? Uh, there's two that I that are on my list. One is a Jell-O, well, it's not really a Jell-O knockoff because it was made by Jell-O, but it was a Jell-O sub-brand called Mr. Wiggle. Oh. Uh, it was, they Go touted on. it. You can find a YouTube commercial of it out there. I'm sure it's uh, it's touted as candy flavored gelatin. Okay. And, and this, uh, this this isn't this doesn't have to do anything to do with like jigglers, right? That's just a different recipe. No, actually... that's a different, totally different thing. So there's Mr. Wiggle uh, because they had really cool merchandising, and uh, the other was a uh, a brand that tried to knock off uh, Kool Aid called uh, Funny Face. Hmm. Do you remember Funny Face at all, Jeff? No. No, no. no it was. It was a uber sweet version of Kool Aid, which is hard to imagine. Wow, <laughs> I know, I know. But they had great flavors. They had like what was Goofy Grape? It was the one that I remember the most. Um, but it was good. It, that I was two hundred percent more sugar than Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, and I think it had uh, caffeine in it too. So it was sort of oh, like wow. uh, it was like Jolt Kool Aid. No, really. No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. I was going to say, why did that ever go away? So you know. were very powder-based uh, nostalgia. You like yes. things you mix with water <laughs> and come back. Now, what was, so just to go back to Mr. Wiggle, was it? Mr. So it was Wiggle, just yes. Different flavors of Jello, or yeah, what was it? Was, well, it was sugar-free. It was one of the first oh. sugar-free uh, uh, gelatins on the market, but it actually tasted really great. Now, I don't know what... What the uh, the ingredient was that replaced sugar? It probably mm. was saccharin for all right. I know. <laughs> Cancer, but just straight exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. Like something that just destroys your brain when you. Maybe need. that's what happened to my hair. That's <laughs> <laughs> Too much Mr. Wiggle. Exactly. But it was really good. I mean, I remember it as a kid, just thinking it was the best, and I actually preferred it over Jello. So. You mean like poured on top of Jello or in, instead? Of? Yes. <laughs> yes. We used it as a gravy. <laughs> really well. Put it on everything. Great on veal. Lewis, what about you? What do you want to see come back? Without a doubt, an ice cream from my childhood called Fat Frog. Um, I believe it was made by Good Humor. Um, so it was like essentially like you know ice cream on a stick shaped like a fat frog. The back of it was like a hard dark chocolate, like a milk chocolate, and the front of it was like shaped like a frog, greenish, and the two eyes were M and M's. Yes, wow. it was oh, without color. a doubt my favorite. One would be up here, one would be down there. Yeah, used to love <laughs> that ice cream. Love it, love it. Wow, um, fat frogs. I'll have to look around. But I don't know why the ice cream they just they just discontinued it. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things, you know, uh, the SpongeBob comes in, they take over that slot that used to be held right. by Fat Frog, and right. there it goes, yeah, actually, um, one, of the, one of the few sweet things we were ever, I was ever allowed to have as a kid was Fat Frogs. We would go to, like, this little playground area, and I would, I would get a Fat Frog. Oh, man, I haven't thought of that in years. Wow. Wow, you're, like, that... really kicked my nostalgia feels right in the... <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys also remember Nintendo Cereal? Yes, that was oh my two, two cereals in one. That was their motto. Mm -hmm. Two cereals wow. in one. I don't Nintendo remember if I actually cereal liked the cereal system is what it was called. That was it. I don't remember if I actually liked the cereal itself, but I remember just liking the box because right. it, right. I think it was like cool Mario idea. and Mario and Zelda or, or mm -hmm. Mario and Donkey Kong, one yeah. of them too. Yeah. But um, yeah, I used, I used to love the commercials and just having that box at home. Yes. See, yeah. for me, I wasn't allowed to really eat any sugary cereals. Um. Uh, you know, and and I can't really get nostalgic for no sugar spelt flakes, what we used to get, <laughs> um, or really like uh, sugar was mainly out in our house. So, you know, I I have kind of this fake nostalgia for everything that I remember my friends eating, and I never oh. could. So essentially, like everything from the '80s. So like I remember very clearly all of these cereals, like the Nintendo cereal system, or like Batman cereal, C3PO's. Urkel I O's, remember C-3PO's. Yes. Pac-Man cereal, Mr. Pac T cereal, like all of those. I would love to come back because I never had them then. The irony is that I'm very lactose intolerant now, <laughs> and I would not be able to enjoy them. My life is a tragedy. <laughs> oh, that's sad. 
Yep. Well, that's our two cents. What's yours? What food from your childhood would you want brought back to life? Tell us in the comments below. For DealNews.com, along with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter, I'm Jeff Subaji. Goodbye.